2016 Republican presidential contender Dr. Ben Carson making headlines after making controversial comments when speaking on New Day with our Chris Cuomo. Carson responded to whether being gay, he believed being gay was a choice. Listen. You think they have control over their sexuality? Absolutely. You think being gay is a choice? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Because a lot of people who go into prison go into prison straight, and when they come out, they're gay. So did something happen while they were in there? Now, Dr. Carson is a neurosurgeon, but those comments seem to be odds with most of the medical community. The American Psychological Association says, quote, most people experience little or no sense of choice about their sexual orientation. I want to talk more about this with Gregory Angelo. He's the National Executive Director of Log Cabin Republicans. That's the nation's largest, largest organization representing gay conservatives. Greg, thanks so much for being with us. Your reaction to Ben Carson's comments. I find it absolutely unbelievable that here we are in 2015 discussing whether or not being gay is a choice. Still, we're having these discussions. In fact, you know, I'm actually more taken aback because today should be a day that Republicans should be united in our messaging. We have a tremendous gift with this controversy about Hillary Clinton using her personal email address for official government correspondence. We have a historic uh, Supreme Court case today about illegal subsidies in Obamacare. Instead, you have one gentleman who's has his eye on the White House, on the Republican ticket, uh, apparently. One ridiculous comment he makes about sexual orientation that's absolutely out of touch now forces every Republican out there, myself and every Republican on the campaign trail for 2016, to answer whether or not they too feel that going to prison is something that can turn someone from straight to someone who's gay. Just absolutely unbelievable. Look, he's a serious candidate right now. He's running fourth. He ran fourth in the CPAC poll uh, just over the last few days. So he does have some followers here. Do you think there are people uh, in your party, beyond your party, that agree with his opinion? Well, you know, I, uh, unfortunately, I think Dr. Carson is, is not alone. Um, we've done a tremendous amount of work at L the Log Cabin Republican sister think tank, Liberty Education Forum, which I also head up, on the science of sexual orientation, debunking this absolute myth that being gay is a choice. Uh, apparently, there's still a lot more work that we need to do and work that, uh, that advocates need to do, not just to educate Dr. Carson, who clearly needs to, uh, to be updated with the medical science on the issue of sexual orientation, but with those uh, people around the country who are still stuck in the Stone Age and think that being gay is something that, that is a choice. Do you feel that someone who holds those opinions uh, should be the nominee of your party? Could you support that person if he were the nominee of your party? Yeah, I, I've seen a tremendous backlash, not just from people in the general electorate over the last several hours since Dr. Carson made his ridiculous comments, but people within the Republican Party, some conservatives and people who I consider to be friends and allies myself that you know, look at me and, and are just absolutely shaking their head about this. Comments like the, the ones Dr. Carson made today, saying that being gay is a choice and that all you need to do is look at prisons for uh, confirmation that that is the case, uh, shows that this man is not serious about the White House. He's not serious about having mature conversations about issues that resonate with voters, uh, whether or not there's people that still want to connect with him. I'll say this. I mean, there, there's a tremendous message that Dr. Carson has about people's uh, unhealthy reliance on the welfare state, about uh, uh, dependence on government. But if that message is going to break through, he's got to get past uh, these ridiculous distractions like, being, like saying being gay is a choice. Unfortunately, at least from my perspective, saying something like that shows that not only is uh, Dr. Carson not someone who's going to have serious conversations on the campaign trail, but someone who's also prone to mistakes and, and, and these verbal slip-ups on the campaign trail that are going to drag down the rest of uh, the ticket. Um, so, you know, there's, it's, even though he hasn't officially announced yet, I see his campaign as largely as, as a non-starter before it's even out of the gate. Gregory Angelo, great to have you with us this morning. Thanks so much.